Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. We're going to do some more previews. It's uh, early June now. The pandemic continues, and we're going to continue to try and post these on a day-to-day -day basis. Try to keep everybody entertained and out of trouble while we try to stay safe from the pandemic. And while I mention that, a special thank you and shout out to all of our first responders and essential workers. I really do appreciate everything you're doing, and I just want to acknowledge that uh, we couldn't be in a situation we're in in terms of uh, improving our health and uh, getting back to uh, some semblance of normal and getting over the, the curve without your efforts. So if you're in law enforcement, EMT, uh, first responders, uh, any of the uh, occupations in the healthcare industry, including the hospitals, the long-term care facilities, the clinics, all of those, I really do appreciate everything you're doing and wanted to take time out to acknowledge that. So we're going to do some uh, pandemic project previews here. I've got a box that's full of stuff. And I get, uh, every now and then, I get a box of reels from a distributor. And the distributor uh, basically gets these as store returns. Now, most of the time, the store returns are uh, unused reels that uh, either there, something's gone wrong with them and you know, when the customers are trying them out and so on, or many times it's just that the poles break and these were sold as rod and reel combinations. And when the poles break, uh, they can't sell the combination so they return both to the distributor. The distributor takes off the uh, reel and uh, scraps the pole, I guess, and, and then wholesales the reels out, and sometimes they get a box of those. So I have a few of those here, so we'll see some newer generation type reels. And then I got a box here that came in the mail the other day, and uh, we'll just preview those as well. So let's just take a quick look. So here's a, um, here's a Shakespeare. This is a lower end reel. It's the Reverie, I guess, or Reverb, Reverb. It's got a plastic spool on it. That almost always tells you the size of it. This one's noisy. Functions fine. It, and it's a new reel. It's never had line on it, but uh, something's going on in the gear alignment there. So we'll see what we can do with that one. Then we have a Shakespeare. This is uh, a, a, a model that's been around a while, a Sirius. And uh, this one's you can tell it's new. It's got the, uh, the Strand line that's never been uh, released on it. And uh, we'll take that apart, show you what's going on inside. My guess with this one is that the rod broke. That's a fairly common thing. Here's one. It's a uh, Mitchell. It's the Mitchell Epic. It's a three ball bearing reel. A little noisy, but uh, three ball bearing reels tend to do that too. Otherwise, it seems to work. So this may have been where you had a, um, a situation with the, um, the pole breaking. Here's another one. This one, uh, this one actually looks like it's uh, had the line used on it, so maybe something happened with the reel. Nope, actually, the reel seems fine. This is a Mustad. It's called the Mustad Ultra PT 3000. Doesn't look like a lot of line broke off that reel, so my um, guess is something went wrong. Went awry. You can also tell there's a little nicks and things on the handle here. But we'll try and take this one apart. Show you what a uh, a Mustad is. Mustad has always been known for the hooks. Uh, and the like, so we'll see what that does. And this one's pretty nice reel. This one is a uh, Red Max 30. It's an Abu Garcia. And this one's running really smooth. So my guess again is this probably came in a combination and uh, something went wrong with the, uh, the pole and uh, caused that reel to be removed and resold. So uh, those are some reels. We'll see some uh, 30 size reels, if you will, that uh, are currently being sold, and uh, we'll see what we can do with them. So then we got another box here, and, and I can't say the same with this box. This is not currently sold stuff, but every now and then I get uh, questions from a lot of viewers who have a reel that they fished as a child, um, or maybe their dad fished, or maybe they found it in an attic or a garage or a shed, and they said, you know, can you show me how to repair these reels? And most of the time I don't have the, bo uh, the reel in stock or in my shop, but uh, this may, uh, may help some of you out there. Uh, if, uh, if you have that reel and you want to know about it, well, uh, we're going to see what we can do here. So the first one up is a True Temper. 
It's an Ocean City True Topper 944. I think I just got a question on this one the other day uh, about uh, the True Temper. Somebody opened up a True Temper reel and said, gee, it looks just like an Ocean City reel. And, it's, and I, basically I responded, it is an Ocean City reel. True Temper bought Ocean City uh, manufacturing and they bought it in the late 1950s. I want to say 57, 58, but I could be off a year or two. And uh, after a while, they just dropped the Ocean City name and they just went to the True Temper name. So if you have an Ocean City reel that does not have True Temper on it, it was uh, early 50s. And if you have one that's uh, later, uh, in that same kind of fashion, like the 940 series and the like, uh, then you'll know that uh, when it was made approximately. This one's got an interesting, it's got a right angle on the line guide. Uh, that'll keep the, certainly keep the line low as opposed to crawling up there as it spools. So there's your 944. There's another Ocean City. This one is the 922. It's a bigger level line. It's for salt water. This one competed very favorably with the Penn Pier series, the 209 and the 309. This one would be more along the lines of the 209, but this is a heavy duty reel. You can tell by the width of the side plates, the, uh, the crossbar strength, and generally the size of the reel. If you put that next to this one, which would be inshore or lake, you can see the uh, the difference in mass there, among other things. So we'll uh, probably do the 922. We'll show you that. Well, we have two 922s. So now we have a 922C, and here's a perfect example of what I was just talking about. In this case, it's not branded Ocean City. It's branded as True Temper. So this one was made after this one was, although this one carries the, the True Temper name on it. It has still has the Ocean City uh, branding on it. In this case, they've removed the Ocean City branding, and it just reads as uh, True Temper. So one of the two of these will probably get done. And then, uh, yeah, here we go. We got three 922s, and in this case, this was before the merger, because this one just reads the 922 Ocean City and has no reference to the, the True Temper. So I got three of those in here. Looks like we'll have a, a fun day with the, uh, the Ocean Cities in this box. Never quite sure I know what's coming. Here's another one. This is the 945 Ocean City, which this one's the 944. So I guess we'll figure out what's the difference there. I can notice there's a little difference in the spool adjuster, but other than that, I can't really see too much of a difference visually. But I guess we'll find out what's different inside if there is an inside difference. Now, a lot of times folks will ask about the, um, uh, the real seats. In this case, this real seat has been chiseled. So that's usually done because the real seat doesn't fit into a pole blank with the real, uh, real handle. And somebody will come back and, uh, well, in this case, they probably either had a real handle that had a screw that couldn't be removed or they did something, uh, drilled out, filed down, did something to the real seat. Doesn't matter if you're going to fish the reels, but if you're looking for a collectible reel, uh, that really reduces the value of a collectible reel. So these reels aren't very collectible, but just notice if you're looking for one, if you want to put it on the shelf, if you wanted a good example of a particular reel from a collectible standpoint, if you have damage on the reel seat, if you've had modifications done to it, it really does reduce down uh, that. Well, we got a whole collection of these. I didn't realize how many we have. Now we have the 940. Okay, so... I noticed the 940 is a, is a smaller chassis. I didn't, didn't, there you go. So that's it, the 940, 944, 945. The difference in all of these is the spool width or the frame width. So we got a, a 940. Now I don't know if I'm going to do all of these for videos. Here's another 944. This one actually has braid on it which is fine. I don't know if I'm going to do all of these from a video standpoint because they're all going to be the same internally, but uh, we'll do enough of these so that you get the, uh, the sense of what these ocean cities were. This is a nice collection. This is, uh, there's nothing wrong with these reels in terms of fishing them today. Uh, there's no reason in the world why you couldn't tune these up and uh, get them out there uh, and catching more fish. And depending on where you are, you can use the heavier version of them, which is the, uh, the 922 series, or you can use the inshore lake uh, river kind of uh, 940 series. 
and either one of them they they're both great in terms of line guide capacity and uh, we'll show you how to, to get them working if you have them and we'll show you what they're like if uh, if you don't have them and uh, you're just curious about them you'll get to see when we open these up in terms of uh, how they were manufactured and why they've survived till uh, till today so Stay tuned for that. If you're in the pandemic, please continue to listen to the authorities, continue to stay in, stay safe, stay healthy, practice that social distancing and all that other good stuff that we've uh, been asked to do. And again, if you're a first responder, thank you so much for everything it is that you do. We really do appreciate you being on the front lines and helping us to overcome this pandemic. So with that, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Thank you for watching.